Now that winter's here, I thought it's time to make some snow. I'm going to compare this instant snow from a can with my own homemade snow, which I'll be making from a nappy, or diaper as you may call it. I'm going to start by taking a look at this instant snow. They call it a blizzard in a can. And if we look at the instructions, it says open the can, add a small amount of water, and watch the snow grow. So let's give it a try. I opened it up, and the first thing I see is there's a packet inside, which I guess I need to open before I add the water. So I teared it open and emptied it into the can. You can see it's this white powdery substance, a bit like salt. Once I'd poured it in, I realised there's a plastic spoon in the can as well. So I took that out and moved on to step two, add a small amount of water. So I did that and waited to see if anything would happen. I was hoping the snow would start to grow out of the can, like on the picture, but no, nothing. So I added a little more water and it was just sort of globby at the bottom of the can. Quite disappointing. So I gave it a mix up with the plastic spoon they supply. And I had to be really careful doing that because it's so short I was in danger of cutting my fingers on the can. After I mixed it I poured it out onto the table and we've got this small pile of fake snow. It actually looks pretty good. It's quite light and fluffy and it feels a little bit rubbery. It doesn't seem to hold together like real snow does, and you don't really get very much. Maybe I didn't add enough water or something, but it is pretty cool. Next I'm going to try making my own snow out of a nappy. Open it out, and we need to get inside the soft padded section. So I made a slice down the middle with some scissors, opened it up over a bowl, and removed the wadding. It's like cotton wool with a powdery grit mixed into it. Once I'd removed it all, you can really see what it's like. I'm giving it all a good shake to try and separate the powdery substance from the cotton wool. I put this to one side, and you can see we've got something very similar to the powder from the can. It's a super absorbent polymer designed to absorb large quantities of liquid. I put the cotton wool into a bowl as well. Then pulled apart another nappy to do the same again. So we've got double the quantity. We've probably got a similar amount here now to what was in the can. I took a small amount of water in a glass and poured in the polymer. You can see it's growing slowly as it absorbs the liquid I gave it a stir which made it a bit more fluffy, then added a little more water. I tipped it onto the table, and there we go, fake snow, very similar to what was in the can. Pretty cool, huh? It feels great. And I decided to try adding water to this cotton wool stuff as well. I gave it a mix up, and it also turned into this awesome fluffy snow. If I tip it out next to the other stuff, you can see it's a lot larger snowflakes than the powdery stuff, but it's just as good. I mixed them together into this big pile. You can kind of mould this snow together and it does hold a little bit. But not enough to make a snowman. It's nice and fluffy though and it looks great. I emptied it out next to the snow from the can so we can see how they compare. We did get a lot more and the stuff we made from the nappy seems a little bit whiter too. But they are very similar. I think I spent a pound or two on the can, but the nappies would have been about 10 pence. I mixed them all together and used it to make a pretty winter scene. Perfect for Christmas.
If you want to see another way to make fake snow that you can actually use to make model snowmen from, you can click on the link. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.